All right, ladies and gents, I am back with this game once again, and I do apologize for the delay of the recording of this commentary audio for this part and for the next few parts of this. But unfortunately, I have had a. I think it was due to the fact that I have to do. I have a life to attend to, and pretty much all I got to do is to. Uh, I'm, still, I'm still job hunting, ladies and gents. But anyway, I'm back with this game, and we're gonna be. I'm gonna be do, helping to end code 1113. I'm still in Monolith Fields at the moment, and I am going to search for and uh, first the, the search for the the uh, the rebel, aka Atlas, the Azimov is it is still on. I apologize for the delay of my voice, but mm, because of the fact that I'm. I haven't done this for a bit of a time. I feel like I'm a bit unprepared. Well, but the fact is, code eleven thirteen is that all the bat the all of the battery bots are just lot are displaced from all their respective machine of the of their respective uh, parts. But the fact is, all got all I've got to do is get all the battery bots back in their slots. And I've just found another Constructo mod for my Constructo pistol. Oh yes, the the beat. Now I've got the charge of the beam together, so we'll be able to get. But what this does this do? It fires up a charged blast, which will defeat an enemy quite easily. It's probably the best if you've upgraded. Whoa! We well, better. We well, better get rid of that. We better ignore that. And we got the second one online. So pretty much if we get all generators online, we got everything back on. Booyah! Whoa! Look at that! The grinder must really be that feisty and that rebellious. All right, so uh, we're off to the next area, shall we? Uh, we better not hit those burners. Oh, speaking of which, ladies and gents, if you actually uh, followed by Super Mario Maker level showcases, you'll pretty much have still pretty much see me. And I've done some levels that have screaming burn. That you know those burners. Well, they kind of remind me of my level created skills on Super Mario Maker, where I created levels with screaming burners. Yes, those are the le le level. Those the burners I've combined with with the burn with with of course making the burners a lot more faster and not only much more unpredictable. But of course we have I have of course the the flimmy burners also emit a scream, which is to be honest I kind of like do it because you know what that keeps some uh, people on their toes. I kind of like doing that in certain levels, especially with one of my levels, like the Mario Kart one, where I use the Mystery Mushroom Mario Kart. Now, if you're honestly w wondering w if I'm going to make the next one, well, it's going to be done soon. So, as well as a new highlights video of Splatoon online, so keep an eye on that. Alright, let's go. Oh, for God's sake! And the crushers! Deal with instant death, of course it does! Yes, I know how to do that. You don't have to be the obvious cap. You don't have to be Captain Obvious, you know. Okay, let's go. Let's go through that again. Oh yes, and I'm testing out the charge beam power up bot. The charge beam, which is a very powerful, ladies and gentlemen. It actually uh, aims to be experimental with the Constructo mods. You can actually uh, mix it up to produce uh, varying results, and some of it is pretty satisfying to use. Well, I better not get hit by the burners. Up we go. Oh, here we go. Well, let's use. Let's use those. Let's use this. Op let's use both the worlds on those. And they kill them instantly. And they kill. They destroy them instantly. And not only that, 
but my weapon uh, exp is really greatly is greatly filling up to max so level four for the constructor pistol may be coming in a, in a mile away right ratchet what do you think you're doing with those pipes destroy them clank's not going to be best amused because now he's got the chrono scepter and we got a nanotech upgrade sweet sometimes it doesn't come off to the nanotech upgrades but Away with E! Oh, you didn't get my drift the first time. Better not get hit by those burners. If I keep, but if I missed any, uh... oh, oh, the set that's a bit of a sound glitch there. I think it might. I think that to the contrast problem might be attributed because of my because of the. Uh, I think the uh, other media capture cards, um, the, one of the cables might be a bit loot, might be a bit loose, but. Whoa, look at all that EXP for my Constructo Bomb. At this rate, I could actually get a lot of weapons there. And I've also got some of that lovely ex EXP there. Alright, so there he is. Alistair Azimuth. He knows. Uh oh. Out of the way, Ratchet! Wow, great use of the bullet time effect there, Insomniac. Oh, great reaction there, Ratchet. Now here we go. Now we go through vault, the actual Volgram Pass after go through that tunnel. Oh no! Ugh. That was an I jumped way too. Uh, admittedly, that was my own fault. I jumped too early. I just want to talk to you. Lies! You're here to assassinate me! No, I am not! You liar! No one! It sent me. And it isn't a hollow guy, is it? That's got. I'm a. a Ratchet is a real Lombax! God damn it! No, I will not. Oh, that was. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Look at how those burners are. Well, it looks like I'll need to time my jumps quite carefully. We. Vadiu, viu, hello, hello. Bloody hell, not those bombs again. Oh, even grinding on girders? Did they actually take Russian and Clank 2, for example? Alright, let's go. And pretty much we'll see what's happening. God damn it! Now I've got you. It can't be. Your, your Caden son. What? Forgive me, General Alistair Asimov. Ah, so you're Asimov. The Lombax Praetorian Guard, held a councilman for the Center for Advanced Lombax Research, and you, my dear boy, look just like your father. Caden. Oh my God. So many questions. Pretty much like how, um, how we were introduced to Alistair Asim. He was a great um, no, uh, smart as they've come. He was no. the first outsider to theorize was it again? that the oh, yes. even existed. Yeah. And this Tell an apogee, we have got a bit of a uh, uneasy a introduction. Translation of the runes on Quantos. Specifically, they say keeper of time. But yes, I suspect he is. Oh. You see, according to Fungoid lore. The Zoni are the guardians of time. If a friend is connected to them, he must play some part in its operation. Now, where are those 
blasted things. Oh my god. Wait, I thought my father was the only one to stay behind when the Lombaxes left. Why didn't you go with them? Sometimes the universe has a cruel sense of humor. Oh. Ah, here they are. Your father's hover boots. Ready for your first lesson? Well, it looks like we're about to find out right now. So, ladies and gentlemen, as uh, Clank is uh, absent from Ratchet throughout most of the game, we are going to up these new uh, devices, the hover boots. And this is where we get to test them on this part. So, let's equip it and let's go. It's pretty much like... Well, take them for a spin. Well, it's pretty much we pretty much have them like in. Uh, if you want to turn, just shift your weight. What would they be? Uh, it's kind of the well. These hover boots kind of like are uh, like a bit like. Ah, oh, these ho hover boots. The Some like sometimes Ratchet must really be like Back to the Future, only non Back to the Oh, that's gotta hurt. Come on back when you're ready to give it a shot. All right, so let's go and give it. One big shot, shall we? Well, looks like you've got the basics down. Now let's try something a bit more challenging, like this hover boot course. And now here, and now here we go. Now let's do this. Up we go. We. Whoa! The hover, the hover bolts are pretty much the uh, crank bolt cranks, only except you go round, around, around. And we've got these kick pads which allow you to uh, jump. Oh, now we are going to go and do something really drastic, like hovering down to the ground to safety. <clears throat> Here we go, let's glide! Kind of, a, kind of like Spyro from Spyro. But spiral the dragon. Well done. You're a faster learner than your father. I have one final test set up over there. Are you ready? Sure am. All right. Follow me. Let's get going, shall we? And now for your final exam. We'll test your speed as well as your skill. You must complete the course and grab every flare along the way in under a minute. If you succeed, I may just let you keep those hover boots. All right, let's do this. Challenge accepted. 23 flares. Let's do this. All right, we, oh, let's bounce off. Go! Right, glide down, and let's go through the rest of this course. It's time to grind. Do it, do it. Whoa! Now that was fantastic. Uh oh, they're shorted out. Ion coils might be a bit rusty. You'll get used to it. Thanks. So what now? Storm Nefarious' stronghold? Force him to tell us where the clock is, huh? Nefarious would be foolish to reveal that information to us, no matter what uh. we do to him. But we have an advantage I did not have before. A contact inside the clock. Whoa. Clank? How are we gonna talk to him? General? My ship's this way? No thanks. I brought my own. Oh, that's convenient, isn't it? His own... Uh... And Billion. Axiom City, Planet Tarachnos. Axiom City. What are we looking for in Axiom City? A way to talk to Clay. Which is, which is of course Ratchet's lovely robot buddy. How does he? So, oh, I've got a skill point. Son of Caden, and there's a Zoni. Let's go and get that little Zoni before we head off to the next part. Whoa, whoa. Let's launch off. And pretty much the Zoni is the one wants me to follow him. And pretty much this will lead me back to the ship. Lead me back to Ephelion. 
Whoa! All right, Zony. You ready to be captured by me? There we go. Here we go. And landed back into the pod. Now I'm up to six, Zony. All right. So let's leave this, Luke. Let's leave this for now. We haven't finished our business yet because I've got to have a, get a few more stuff. I've got to get some more stuff back. Some small stuff. I will return here before I do eventually get to the end. But with that being done, we're finished our business at the at the monolith fields for now. All right. So, ooh, look at that! It's about the great clock's design. 4.3 trillion moving parts. My goodness gracious me! That really is some interesting information about the great clock. Alright, back into our space in the Vila Sexa. We've got all that space junk. Ratchet, come in. I've keyed into your nav unit so we can communicate. Copy that. So, what's in Axiom City? Uh. A company called Pollux Industries. Ooh, the Pollux Industries. To locate Zony technology. They keep a database of every obsidian eye in the universe. Wow. Oh. oh, yeah. I found one once back on Murdergraw. Uh, too bad the Hula Boys dismantled it. Alex won't just let us waltz into the building. Oh. We may have to be a little aggressive. What do you mean by that? I'm ready. But we'll find out I'm in the next part. So with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. But when I'm going to go to Axiom City and go into Pollux Industries. Alongside Alistair, Alistair Azimuth. And a way to talk to Clank. So I'll see you guys in the next part. But when that will all happen. I'll see you guys next time. For the Ratchet and Clank to a cracking time let's play. So, I'll see you then.